Welcome to That's Good Sports, I'm Brandon. I made my parents sign a no trade clause on my third birthday perna. They reluctantly signed. The same way John Dorsey reluctantly signed off on bringing back Hugh Jackson. Now I'm going to recap this DT trade and what it means for the Broncos and the Texans. John Elway sent Demarius Thomas and a 7th round pick to the Houston Texans for a 4th and 7th round pick. Now I think the Texans are a pretty good team and I am happy DT has an opportunity to play for a contender but am worried that he has to play for Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien had no idea that the organization signed Brock Osweiler a couple years ago, and that did not work out. And apparently today, he had no idea they would trade for DT. He said, and I Twitter quote him, I don't know anything about the trade report. That's not really my role here. Head coach Bill O'Brien's role is to not know or give a shit about which players he's coaching, or he's going to coach or have a say in coaching? Oh dear God, I am sorry, DT. I am sorry. If you're new here, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video or some shit. Also, this episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. If you use my promo code, that's good. SeatGeek will give you $20 off your first ticket purchase. There is a link in the description to take you to SeatGeek. Now, if you want to see Demarius Thomas play against the Broncos as a member of the Houston Texans, go to SeatGeek. You can get Broncos tickets there, tickets to any sporting event. SeatGeek gathers tickets from all over the lands and puts it in one place for your convenience and ranks the ticket prices. Green means you're getting a good ticket price. Red means you're getting a bad ticket price. So again, promo code, that's good. Link in the description. Seat Geek. <laughs> Just off the top of my head, the worst trades in history would have to be the Louisiana Purchase, the Herschel Walker trade, and any transaction made at any GameStop. Did the Broncos get fair value for Demarius Thomas? On the surface, you may be thinking no. Fuck no. One of the all-time great Broncos for a fourth round and swapping a couple seventh round picks? Some seventh round swapper -roos? The seventh rounders mean nothing. The Broncos could draft a thousand more Chad Kellys and Trevor Simeons in the seventh round and would, it would make no difference. So it's basically Demarius Thomas for a fourth. And in terms of who DT is to Broncos country, you are correct, because he is worth 10 first round picks and the joy of seeing Josh McDaniels, the man who drafted him, get fired a thousand times over by the Broncos. The reason this trade is pretty close to fair is because of Thomas's contract. I would have preferred a third rounder for DT, like the Lions got for Golden Tate, but this does clear up about 10 million in cap space for the Broncos in 2019, as they will have, I think, a dead cap hit of three and a half million next season for DT. The reality of the situation is, with the emergence of Cortland Sutton, that the Broncos probably would have cut DT this off season as 2019 was an out year for the team on his contract. He was due 14 million next year, but by trading him to Houston, they at the very least get a draft pick. And DT is now on a team that is in first place in its division with a very good chance of being in the playoffs. He will also play opposite one of the most freakishly talented receivers in the league in DeAndre Hopkins. That's 102 career touchdowns between the two of them, which is by far the most of any wide receiver tandem in the league. Houston needed a receiver after losing Will Fuller last week to an ACL injury. We probably won't see it Sunday, but Demaryius Thomas is going to have a big role on that offense once Bill O'Brien uh, learns that DT is a member of the Texas football team. I think his role will be far bigger in Houston than if he went to the icy hell that is the Patriots wide receiver depth chart. And DT will be able to pick up the Texans offense quickly. He had to learn Josh McDaniels offense, a Tim Tebow slash Mike McCoy offense, a Peyton Manning offense, a Gary Kubiak offense, another Mike McCoy offense, a Bill Musgrave offense. The only offense DT hasn't learned is defense. I also have so many logistical questions about trading a player to the team you are about to play at home. DT now has to fly to Houston to practice all week and then fly home to play what now is a road game 
Can he stay at his house? Or does he have to stay with the Texans team at their hotel? Do the Texans ask to use DT's E-470 toll pass? Or do they just avoid toll roads altogether? It's all very bizarre, but I do wish DT the best. Especially now that we know for sure he's not going to the fucking Patriots. They do not deserve DT. After I saw former Pats QB and current radio announcer and professional sports douche Scott Zolak tweet about Thomas, saying, gross. No thank you. Called games where you saw him shut it down. By the way, Scott, here's a clip of him scoring a touchdown against the Patriots in the AFC Championship game to send them home in 2014. Didn't shut it down there, did he? Bold comments by a guy with a career QB rating of 64.8. Zolak. What was Demarius Thomas's greatest moment as a Denver Bronco? His 80-yard walk-off touchdown reception from Tim Tebow in the playoffs to defeat the Steelers? Catching Peyton Manning's record-breaking 509th touchdown pass against the Niners? No, it was not quitting after playing with Brock Osweiler, Trevor Simeon, and Paxton Lynch last season. Going from Peyton Manning in a Super Bowl win to that is like losing your HBO subscription after four years and having to watch God Friended Me on CBS instead of The Wire, The Sopranos, and Game of Thrones. Unfortunately, God never friended me. In fact, he blocked me on Twitter and Instagram. And I don't even try to talk to him on Facebook. Thomas himself said earlier in the week, it's a business, that's what happens, it's happened before. I never thought it would happen to me, but I'm just like everyone else. I'm an athlete and it happens once you get older. You know what else happens when you get older, DT? Back pain, hemorrhoids, and a strong desire to get to Chili's before 5.30 to avoid the dinner rush of noisy, ruckus-making teeny boppers who can no longer adequately contribute to your social security because as failed bloggers, they contribute nothing to society. I'm not gonna lie, this one hurts. DT is, DT was, DT was, one of the longest tenured Broncos. And he's been here through the good times and the bad. He was around for McDaniels and that four and 12 season and the tough season last year. But he was also one of the main reasons the offense took off with Peyton Manning in 2012 and kept the offense afloat in 2015 when they won the Super Bowl. He's caught touchdowns from Kyle Orton, Tim Tebow, Peyton Manning, Brock Osweiler, Trevor Simeon, Paxton Lynch, and Case Keenum. He's one of the greatest Broncos ever, and the thought of him on another team just feels dirty. Like seeing your wife laugh at another man's jokes. DT leaves Denver with 655 receptions, third all time behind Rod Smith and Shannon Sharp, 9,055 receiving yards, second all time behind Darius Watts, and 60 receiving touchdowns, second only to Dwayne Carswell, of course. And most importantly, scoring the only touchdown in Super Bowl 48 to make sure the Broncos weren't fucking shut out. That might be his greatest stat. Now, Nikki Jabala tweeted that the Broncos will recognize Demarius Thomas during Sunday's game against the Texans. I would hope they would recognize him. He's only been gone for like five days, Nikki. Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders exchanged emotional tweets to honor one another and show us how hard this is on them. We forget about the friendships and the relationships these guys make on the teams. We are really desensitized to trades. They affect people and their families, but that's just the NFL these days. But we should remember those things. Now, Emmanuel Sanders, though, should be careful about admitting to crying on social media. Or someone could write a shitty hit piece on him saying he's losing the locker room just like Derek Carr. And Demarius Thomas, I hope you catch a thousand passes this season in Houston. Because that would be fucking crazy. You're a legend, DT! Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Sports. Please subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, if you love DT, share this video with your friends. I'm on Twitter, at Brandon Perna, and Instagram. I do a podcast every Thursday where I'm sure Will Keys and I will talk more about Demaryius Thomas. Second channel, That's Good Podcasts, or iTunes, That's Good Sports Podcast.